let us look at this previous problem from laws of motion again. So, what happens here is uh, uh, a car is actually moving in a circular track of radius 10 meter, it is having a constant speed of 10 meter per second. A bob inside that car is suspended from the roof of the car by a light rigid rod. The angle made by the rod with the track is that is the question. Let us actually draw the diagram and understand the problem. So, let this be your track. In this track, you have a car which is moving. Let me draw the car as a box, right, which has wheels. It is moving in this manner with a constant speed v. Here inside this, you have a bob which is suspended and this bob is making some angle theta, uh, this angle b theta, right. It is making an angle theta as a because the car is moving, so the bob is slightly tilted at some angle theta with the vertical, you need to find this angle theta, that is all that the problem is, right. And take g equal to 10 meter per second. So, let us see what is happening here. Because the car is moving in circular motion, the bob is also moving in circular motion, right. So, if I, if I just consider the bob now, let us look at the forces on the bob. You have tension, you have mg, right. So, if this is theta, then this angle will be theta and this, if this is t, then this will be t cos theta and this will be t sin theta. So, your t cos theta first of all is balancing mg because the bob is not moving in the vertical direction. What is t sin theta doing? t sin theta is providing the necessary centripetal force for this bob to be in circular motion. Remember, if any body has to be in circular motion, if I have this small board, small point and if I have to rotate it in a circle, I have to provide some centripetal force, like I, I have to provide some other external force which will provide it the required centripetal force to be in the circle. So, if it moves with velocity v and radius is r, then centripetal force required is v square by r and then mv square by r which is your centripetal force is always provided by some external force. It can be frictional force, it can be tension, it can be anything. Here T sin theta is an external force which acts on this bob, right. This T sin theta which is directed along, this T sin theta as you can see is directed along the center here, right. So, the bob is at a distance r, right. So, it is it's going, uh, oh, what do you say, at a radius 10 meter. So, this is 10 meter. So, T sin theta is providing the necessary centripetal force for this bob to be in circular motion. And what is the, like the mass of the ball, bob be v, m, right. It is moving with, because the car is moving with v, the bob is also moving with v. So, v square and r is the radius, right. If you need the angle now, you do not need the tension at all. So, you can just divide this. So, you will simply get cot theta is equals to mg divided by mv square by r will go up. So, you have cot theta is equals to g r by v square. You can take g equal to 10, you can take r is equals to what do you say uh, 10 meter again and your v is also 10. So, 10 square is 100. So, this is your cot theta. So, this is cot theta equal to 1. So, theta has to be 45 degrees. So, the angle that the bob, so this is what do you say, this is the track, this is your bob it makes an angle 45 with the vertical, what angle will it make with the track? Because this is a right angle triangle, right? This is a right angle triangle, this is 90, this is 45. Then what will this angle be? The angle of that the bob, that the rod uh, makes with the track, it will be the same thing, right? It will be 45 only, right? So, the answer to this question is 